Hi everyone, James Slotnick here. We're back with our seventh edition in our countdown to the election video series. Today, we're gonna do some scenario planning. I'm not saying that it's going to be a President Biden or a President Trump in 2020, but we have to start looking at different scenarios and what those scenarios could mean. Today, we're gonna look at if it's a President Biden with a Democratic Senate and a Democratic House. Now, as you know, even if it is that Democratic sweep, it's not going to be as easy for President Biden to move legislation through the process as some TV commentators are letting on. As you know, it's very difficult to move legislation through the Senate because of the different rules and procedures that the Senate has. Most importantly, for the vast majority of legislation to move in the Senate, you need 60 senators to agree to end debate on a piece of legislation and then it moves to a simple majority vote. The filibuster is what provides that minority party the ability to make sure that debate on a bill continues and doesn't move to that final vote. Well, there's been a lot of talk on TV, in the newspapers, even on the debate stages about whether or not the filibuster rules could be changed. Now, there's a lot of procedure and wonkiness to this, but Democrats, if they had a simple majority in the Senate, they would be able to procedurally change the filibuster so you didn't need 60 votes, but you needed just a simple majority to end uh, to end debate on pieces of legislation. The real question is not whether or not the Democrats could change the filibuster. The real question is, do they have the votes to change the filibuster? If the Democrats have a majority coming out of the 2020 election, it's going to be a very thin majority. And we know that today there are four Democratic senators that are on record as saying that they don't want to change the filibuster. Senator Sinema from Arizona, Senator Tester from Montana, Senator Manchin from West Virginia, and Senator King from Maine. Now I know Senator King's an independent, but he caucuses with, with the Democrats. If the Democrats have a majority, they're not going to be able to lose those four members and be able to change the filibuster rules. Will there be pressure on those members to potentially look at whether or not they really do support changing the rules? Absolutely. But I think the bottom line is, it's, it's a great topic to talk about on the Sunday morning talk shows on the late night cable news networks. But I think the reality is there are, Democrats are not going to have the votes necessary to make changes to the filibuster. And that means moving legislation for President Biden, even if it's with a Democratic House and a Democratic Senate, could be difficult. Of course, there's always the exception of budget reconciliation, which is that once a year ability to make changes to government spending. There's very there's a lot of rules on how you can use budget reconciliation, but budget reconciliation doesn't require 60 votes to end debate. You may remember that President Trump used budget reconciliation to move the tax cuts through in 2017. We'll be back in a few weeks.